Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Any business owners out there will know that your clientele are precious. You do not divide your customer base. You don't sit there and say, we don't want you, and choose one half, to be our customers anymore because of politics, race, sex, gender, religion, whatever. Because people who do that very soon aren't business owners because they've gone bankrupt. We're seeing it all the time in the get woke, go broke. And, you know, film studios losing hundreds of millions because they keep making identity politics films rather than entertaining films. So Mark Drakeford, who is the First Minister of Wales, is quite blatantly anti-English. He hates England. He hates the English. He's got an anti-tourism stance. He says Wales for the Welsh. He wants to, he's very insular. He's a very insular and a very insecure little man. He's filled with his own sense of self-importance. And his policies are damaging Wales. They're damaging the Welsh, the Welsh economy, the Welsh people, everything. But in his mind, he's being very virtuous in looking after Wales. Unfortunately, Wales is losing a lot of money because people in England are going, nah, don't think I'll go and spend my money in Wales anymore. And so somebody in Wales, the owner of one of Wales' best known attractions, has banned him. I hope it's just the start. Let's look at this story to see what a comeuppance looks like. So Welsh First Minister Mark Drakeford, a rabid socialist and therefore filled with innate hate anyway, uh, because you know socialists hate the idea of anyone anywhere having the slightest bit of fun, they like to just spread their cancerous misery wherever they go. Uh, he's been banned from one of Wales' best known attractions because of his anti-tourism, anti-English policies. Mark Drakeford has been banned from the National Showcase Centre. The chairman, Ashford Price, said he was taking a stand against the government. Research found that overnight visitors spent more than £2 billion in 2018. They won't be spending it now. Uh, so the Labour Party leader in Wales, along with his government ministers, have all been barred from the National Showcase Centre for Wales. Uh, he, uh, Dashford Price said he was taking that stand against the leaders in Cardiff Bay and in solidarity with businesses in the tourism industry. Drakeford's crackdown on second home ownership, which will also come into force in April 2023, has sparked a row between senior political figures and business leaders. Holiday homeowners are exempt from council tax and liable for business rates if they rent out their additional properties for 70 days per year. New legislation means landlords could be smacked with council tax premiums of up to 300% if they do not let their extra apartments for more than 182 days a year. A tourism tax has also been proposed. So basically he's destroying the tourism industry in Wales because all of a sudden all these places where people had a bit of room and in the summer they'd lease it out, get some tourists in, they can stay there. Now they're either going to have to pay massive amounts of rates or massive amounts of tax or just sell up. And the moment they sell up, that's another room that tourists can't go to. How's that helping the Welsh economy that is reliant upon tourist money? But that's what you get when you put a rabid moron of a socialist in charge. Look at him. There is your hate-filled socialist. He even has to wear a red tie to remind himself that he's a socialist. because He's probably so dim he forgets. Uh, and he's the one destroying the Welsh economy with his bright ideas. Uh, virtually every time anyone on the left has an idea, you know it's going to be a terrible idea. More than £2 billion was spent by visitors staying the night in Wales in 2018. That's just one night. This is people coming for one night. And in 2018, they spent £2 billion. So never mind the weekenders, the week stayers, things like that. The one, the overnighters. Uh, almost one in ten people are directly employed by the visitor economy. According to Wales Online, a sign now being displayed in the Daniel Ogoff ticket office. And I don't know what if that's the correct pronunciation. Uh, reads, owing to Welsh Government's anti-tourism, anti-English policies being imposed on the Welsh tourism industry, members of the Welsh Government are no longer welcome at this attraction. Mr Price said their policies will lead to tourism businesses being forced to close and thousands of tourism jobs lost. But the left don't care. Socialists don't care about unemployment because you see socialists say 
they love unemployment because the more people are unemployed, the more people are reliant upon the state. And when people are reliant upon the state, the socialists can control them because that's all socialism is. It's control of the people. No freedoms, no rights, control. And that's why every time a Labour government has got in control of the British economy, it's completely destroyed it. It's not accidental. It's deliberate. Uh, the attraction believes that demanding businesses let their properties out for 182 days a year is akin to a Soviet-type purge being imposed by the Welsh government, which is which also comes in for criticism over some of the other policies it's bringing in. I'm sorry, Wales, but you keep voting for these people. You keep voting for the man to beat you. You could vote for someone else, but you don't. You could vote for freedom, but you don't. You could vote for financial independence, but you don't. You vote for misery and you vote for poverty and you keep doing it. So I've got no sympathy really. Uh, I've had the pleasure of meeting two First Ministers for Wales at the cave, said Mr Price, the late Rodri Morgan and Carwin Jones, on more than one occasion and they were genuinely interested in tourism. However, the present Welsh Government and their anti-tourism policies, namely the 182 day rule and the proposed tourism tax and the plans alterations of the main summer holidays, clearly show that they do not understand or care. Let me tell you, they both understand and care. They understand totally, which is why they want to destroy it, and they care, but they care about power and control. They don't care about people and their livelihood. Uh, and they care, They don't care that their, action, their actions will decimate seasonal tourism in Wales. And as I say, yes, they do. They're doing it deliberately. 30% of self-catering businesses are forecast to close with a resulting loss of 1,400 Welsh jobs. That's nothing. They don't care. 1,400 jobs? Who cares? 1,400 families wiped out. They don't care. Socialism? Don't care. They've got you then. They've got you because you're reliant upon the state. They win. Is it any wonder that some operators in Welsh tourism are now holding back on any future investment in Wales? Well, of course not. And that way, the, the investment doesn't go in Wales. They'll look across the border to England and say, actually, I can go here. It's much better. I can make more profit, blah, blah, blah. And so any capital that is in Wales will also leave. This is what, this is what capitalism does. When it sits there and says, I can make more money over there than I can here, it leaves. And he hasn't got the power to stop it. He's only got the power to destroy tourism. Uh, with the resultant job losses soon, the only growth area in Wales in Welsh tourism will be the growth in redundant tourism operators claiming benefits. The Welsh Government have used bully boys tactics to bulldoze through these new laws, ignoring tourism opposition and leading experts advising against these new proposals. For the Welsh Government to take these actions, especially during a cost of living crisis and a recession starting this autumn that according to the Bank of England will last over a year and with inflation rising to 13% at least next year, it's complete economic madness. But it's deliberate. Don't think these people are doing this because they're stupid. I mean, they are completely stupid because they think socialism is a really good idea. But don't think it's accidental. As I say, this is a deliberate policy of destruction. Uh, 80% of all visitors to Wales are English and many of these policies will be seen as anti-English by the English media. Already I am never going back to Wales. Been there several times, never going back to Wales. Uh, Wales will pay a heavy price if our main tourism market refuses to pay the proposed tourism tax and votes with their feet and goes ex elsewhere. Yeah, Cornwall, Devon, De Dorset. If you're going to Wales, go round the corner, go to somewhere warmer, better, better welcoming where they don't hate you and they don't paint, paint all the road signs in a different language. Uh, in a recession, people will be looking for bargain holidays, not holiday regions where you pay a tax for visiting them. Surely with power comes with responsibilities. Who is he? Uncle Ben. And a willingness to listen to experts, as none of the ministers involved have ever run a tourism-related business. None of the ministers have ever run anything. They're all professional politicians. They know nothing. Nothing. And yet, Wales, you voted for this, so when you're sitting there, unemployed, poor, hungry, possibly homeless, just think, just think how good it is for you. Think how wonderful you feel, because at least you know that it wasn't their fault. It was your fault, because you voted for the socialists. 
Anyway, I'm going to come up now. We're going to laugh at the Welsh later. Well, you get what you deserve, uh, and Drakeford certainly deserves this. I think it's a shame it's just the only thing that he's banned from. Uh, I'd love to see him banned from, say, every bar, every restaurant, uh, every hotel, everything like that. Anything to do with tourism, they need to all go around and bar Drakeford and his ministers. Uh, and when they can't even pop into their local corner shop for a pint of milk and a loaf of bread, ah, you're barred. Oh, I could, should really do that in a Welsh accent, but I won't. Uh, it would be funny, be, and I'd love to see it on camera. And people of Wales, Wales business owners, Welsh business owners, please, please, please do this. Save your country, save your economy. Look to your children and their futures, because these socialists will completely destroy it with their anti-English, anti-tourism ways. All they want is poverty and misery. Your poverty, your misery. So people of Wales, rise up, vote them out. For God's sake, stop voting for these idiots. But also, make their life a misery now. You can do it overnight. Anyway, I shall stop now. If you like what you hear and see on the channel, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring the bell for future notifications of output. Leave a like, leave a comment, and until next time, stay safe, stay well, avoid Welsh politics, and goodbye.